Hello, it's the uh, Angry Photographer here. I wanted to show you all something, and uh, those of you that are looking for a uh, studio or home strobe, I have a pair of these, and uh, it's a uh, Einstein by Paul C. Buff. It's entirely made in the United States. It is $500, and unless you plan on spending over $1,000, I'm going to go over some of the features why this is the best strobe to buy for your money. The only way you're going to get better is if you spend a fortune. So let's power up and take a look at the Einstein. Um, some of the features of you uh, that I uh, wanted to mention that uh, you people might not be familiar with when it comes to strobes is that to give a good analogy, like uh, the alien bees, these are the same people that make alien bees by the way, but I do not want alien bees for two reasons. I want their Einstein model. It's not that there's anything wrong with their alien bees. This is their Einstein model. Let me crank it over here to the side so you can take a look and zoom out. And up here at uh, the top you can uh, actually see a flash sensitive built in slave trip. A little white dome up here. And also there is a little uh, CX CS uh, XCV transceiver which does not come with the Einstein unit. It pops out and has a little multi-pin connector for uh, 2.5 gigahertz transmission with your camera. There's two different models. There's the fancy version and the really simple one that I have here, the transceiver on top of my D7100. This unit is 50 bucks. This little CyberSync unit is $30. So that does not come with a $500 Einstein. But what you get for five hundred dollars is something incredible. Uh, unlike Alien Bees, which has a minimum uh, twenty watt second power output up to six forty, six hundred and forty watt seconds. The max on the Einstein is also six hundred and forty, but you can drop the Einstein down to two point five watt seconds. Additionally, you have an action stopping power in action mode up to one thirteen thousand five hundredth of a second. Now you ever seen those fancy shots where someone drops an ice cube and a bottle of gin and you see the little water droplets you know you just freeze stop the action. Uh, it's really important for macro and it's really important to, for commercial photography and it is so much fun. It is such an incredible feature that uh, the only way you're going to get that is by spending a great deal of amount a great deal of money and still not getting the quality that the Einstein provides for such a great cost at $250. The other thing too is like I mentioned like on the Alien B units, the minimum output is 20 watt seconds and that doesn't sound like a lot, but that's like saying, well, you've got a low power setting of a hammer and a high power setting of a sledgehammer. But with the Einstein all the way down to 2.5 watt seconds. I can basically crank this thing down to the power level of a feather or crank it up to a sledgehammer. It is just that nice. It is just an incredible unit. Let's uh, take a look a little bit closer here at uh, what we have. We have an easy set. Let's return to factory reset. We have a sync connector here. We have our test button. Now what we can do is go down to ready mode. And right now I have visual and audio confirmation of recharge. I can actually change that to lamp only indicator, uh, audio only indicator, or I can turn it off. Right now I have uh, the uh, built-in slave unit on top here, the little white dome off. Currently I'm just using a 45 inch Westcott umbrella reflector. Uh, I'm not uh, currently using a, uh, a reflector umbrella. I'm not currently using a reflector on this unit. Um, 8 amp fuse, comes an additional fuse. Go to our functions. I can actually go to my modeling light and I can choose to have it be equal to the power of that of the flash output or I can change my modeling to full or I can turn my modeling light off. So with the Einstein I have the capacity of dialing in a feathers bit as an analogy of flash 
which is really important in macro and small work and especially for like rim lighting because 20 watt seconds is a minimum on the alien bees is too much and all the pros out there agree there's an enormous amount of time where you actually just want just a little bit of flash power like I said this can't unit can be used without the use of the CyberSync commander which is a uh, 2.5 gigahertz transceiver let me go into my function dial up go into modeling right now I've got modeling off and then I'm gonna bring modeling back to full or I can bring modeling to match what my slave output is let me zoom in a little bit further so you can see um, very cheap repair cost now policy buff uh, the uh, the founder recently died in arrest of soul um, like if this is the only company they know that has amazing repair costs people send stuff in that they've abused the hell out of and all they'll charge you is 50 bucks to repair the units like oh here's my uh, Einstein unit which I've been you know letting roll around the back of my car and I abused it I tortured it it's like oh no problem we'll fix that for you got an extremely generous uh, warranty incredible tech support when you call up you know you're talking to uh, the girls in Tennessee there um, made in the USA which is unbelievable that such an awesome product is made in the United States I mean that's we we all know that's rare you know you can adjust uh, down at one tenth f-stop adjustments which is incredible you have nine stops of variable power range like I said, you got 2.5 watt seconds up to 640 watt seconds. I mean, that is incredible. And that, in addition to the fact that you have action stopping power up to 1 13,500th of a second. Incredible. So, this unit, I can either make it feather, featherweight on the flash, or I can make it sledgehammer. Everything else is like hammer or sledgehammer. What do you want? No, I can dial this all the way down. Let me go back through my menu you have to go through the function button and let me bring it down to 2.5 watt seconds here we go and really great and there's a really advanced one I'm going to show this to you in another video but right now I have the CyberSync uh, uh, transmitter the CST one which is uh, uh, 50 bucks it runs off a, a little uh, will last for two years off a little watch battery I'm going to actually focus and manual I'm going to point the uh, the lens away and fire and let me actually adjust my power output now let's bring it up to 10 watt seconds got it awesome just absolutely incredible for five hundred dollars that you get such an incredible quality unit with incredible customer service incredible tech support you got an easy set button like I said for quick return cheap repair costs it is the best value uh, for a uh, studio studio strobe out there I got a pair of these now most people might just need one one is more than enough for most people one and a reflector or even just one uh, flash sensitive built in slave tripper now the uh, CX CSX CV CyberSync which sits on top of the Einstein let me zoom out here let me turn the unit off this is $30 and it does not come with the unit but this lets you, here you go there's a the little unit that actually just pops right into the top of your Einstein unit this is 30 bucks. it does not come with the Einstein but that is for use with your transmitter right here and uh, this can control multiple Einsteins now there is a extremely fancy one I'm going to into another video on uh, the Einstein uh, the uh, the deluxe unit CyberSync transmitter which actually lets you adjust on top of your hot shoe the output of every channel of flash so you got three or four of these Einsteins or two or however many you have a bunch of them you can adjust the output and the power remotely right on the color LCD display let me pop this unit back in here there we go power back up and I said there's the function button let me zoom in just an incredible unit someone like me that kinda hates everything if I say something's awesome you know it's kinda when you should listen here we go right now I have it set to modeling I'm going to adjust it to 
Actually, I'm adjust to full on my modeling. Like I said, you can adjust it and you adjust the uh, the confirmation to sound and uh, to modeling, or you can adjust the confirmation off or sound only or modeling only. And uh, you could turn your uh, slave built-in slave off. Right now, I've got it off. You have to actually scroll through your function buttons to get back to where you were. Um, I'm just so happy with this unit. You know, these replace my old strobes I've been using for years and I've been wanting to make this video. And they really, there's only a few videos out there in the Einstein, which is kind of incredible because this unit is just the cat's ass. Um, you can get a portable Vagabond uh, power supply for this and hang it off your light stand. And uh, you need to do uh, out the door uh, strobe shots, um, which is wonderful. I think the cost on the uh, the mini vagabond is two hundred and eighty dollars. We're talking about a honking power supply and uh, and uh, actually uh, quick recharge uh, portable power supplies are never cheap, but uh, that's extremely cheap for what it actually offers you. Um, like I said that's the CSXCV, a CyberSync transmitter on top of the Einstein. The action stopping power combined with the fact that you have one tenth f stop adjustment increments on your output, and I can dial this down from 2.5 watt seconds up to 640, unlike the Alien Bees, where your minimum is 20 watt seconds, which you're still talking a hammer of output. I can crank this Einstein down to a feather of output, and that is so important. You know, you're talking about a, a differential spread between the Einstein and the Alien Bees of 2.5 watt seconds versus 20 watt seconds, and uh, making that happen, getting your flash, flash exposure and your depth of field correct, while only having a minimum of 20 watt seconds without actually dropping your strobe, you know, way far away and causing other issues and getting the flash exposure correct is enormously valuable so I'm not putting down alien bees at all I'm just saying if you got the 500 bucks you thought about getting an alien bee don't I would go for the Einstein the alien bees are fine but what this gives you an action stopping power and power output and how simplistic it is I mean I could teach a blind person how to use this Einstein you know in a matter of 10 I mean it's really so simple. Man, I've used some really complex strobes before. I mean, they're just a nightmare. The learning curve on them is a nightmare. I'm not talking about exposure and adjusting power. I'm talking about the menu system, how intuitive and simplistic it is. I could take anybody that has 10 brain cells dedicated to photography and teach them how to use this strobe in a matter of an hour or so. And considering all that this strobe does, you know, that it's not a stupid unit. I mean, it is, you can make it incredibly complex. And so far as uh, compounding its usage with the, uh, the CyberSync uh, transmitter, the, the fancy one that I'm going to show you in an upcoming video. Anyway, another video from Angry Photographer. So look into the Einstein. It's 500 bucks. Transceiver up here is 30 bucks and $50 for the unit that goes on top. There is a fancy unit that is $180 that lets you control multiple units so you don't actually have to go up here to your strobe and adjust the flash levels and whatnot. You can do it right on the top of your hot shoe. Thanks for watching and I give the highest recommendation in the world to the made in the USA, believe it or not, Einstein from Paul C. Buff Company. Handmade in Tennessee. Thanks for watching everybody and if you like this video drop me a buck or two or uh, even better uh, No, they do not have their hand in my pocket. Go ahead and grab an Einstein from Paul C. Buff and uh, I'll catch you later. I'm glad I could bring this video to you